Now one may ask if a person is being mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah has begun to love him. Because we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the person who's mindful of Allah. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, or he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said again a hadith Qudsi, he said, a slave of mine, a devoted slave of mine continues to come close to me with that which I have uh, obligated upon him. As in he never gets closer with anything except that which I have obligated upon him. That's the closest he can get to begin with. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, لا يزال عبدي يتقرب إلي بالنوافر لا يزال عبدي يتقرب إلي بالنوافر a, a slave of mine, a devoted slave of mine, he continues and he continues and he continues getting closer and closer and closer to me with nawafid, with virtuous deeds, with voluntary actions, with actions that are preferable. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he continues, he says, he says, uh, he, he says, he says, then until I start to love him, hatta uhibba, until I start to love him, فَإِذَا أَحْبَبْتُهُ كُنْتُ سَمَعُهُ الَّذِي يَسْمَعُ بِهِ وَبَصَرَهُ الَّذِي يُبْصِرُ بِهِ وَيَجْلَهُ الَّذِي يَمْشِي بِهَا وَيَدَهُ الَّذِي يَبْطِشُ بِهَا وَلَئِنْ سَأَلَنِي لَأُعْطِيَنَّ وَلَئِنْ إِسْتَعَاذَنِي لَأُعِيذَنَّ As the Prophet ﷺ said, uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He says, when I begin to love this slave of mine, when I begin to love this slave of mine, then and only then I, I, am I aid. The eyes that he sees with, the ears that he hears with, the mouth that he speaks with, the hands that he, he strikes with, the legs that he walks with. What does that mean? The scholars, they explain these statements. They explain these statements to mean the fact that if a person is mindful to that degree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah protects him himself from any evil, from the evil of the eye. Allah takes that limb, the hands, and protects them from being, being uh, from striking that which is haram. Allah takes those hands and doesn't let those hands do that which is evil. Allah takes those legs and doesn't let them walk in that which is from uh, in that which is from the obedience of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Allah takes all of the limbs of the body of this individual and puts them towards that which is good. Now, if Allah Subhanahu wa Taala we're discussing, if He loves a person, how then can Allah Subhanahu wa Taala test him? How then can Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala test them? Because several times we know people are good, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests people that are good to know whether they really stick on that good. And also for another reason, and this is what Shaykh ibn Uthaymeen rahimahullah mentioned for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, he was the most tested of people. If he was the most beloved of the creation, and he was the most tested of people, then why are we being tested? The question is no longer there. If the Prophet ﷺ is being tested, then who are we? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests people for two reasons. The first of those two reasons is to really realize whether this person is true. Allah knows in His vast knowledge whether this person is true to Himself or not. But Allah wants to show to the people whether this person was true or not. And the second reason is because Allah knows from his slave, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا Allah knows from his slave that he can handle this test of Allah Taala wa ta'ala if he can, through the patience that this person will have after the calamity befalls him, though he's a muttaqi, though he's a God-fearing person of Allah, though he's a beloved person to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after the patience that he will have, nothing but good will come out of that. Because patience increases the person in status. Patience increases a person in status in the hereafter. And all of us, inshallah ta'ala, aiming for al-fiddos al-ta'ala, the highest of heavens. So every time we're tested, Prophet he said in the hadith, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He loves a person, so look at the connection here. Because we're talking about how can Allah love a person and at the same time test him. He's saying when Allah loves a person, Allah puts him through a test. Ibtala. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves a person, he puts him through that test. So it's okay to be tested even if we're God-fearing. If we're God-fearing, whether we are, we've been promised that we'll be tested. Did you not think that you will say, I believe? And at the same time, you will not be tested? And yes, you will be tested and the people before you were tested, just like you were. 
Just so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may show to the people who is true and who is not. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that we're those people that were true.